You will often use regular expressions when programming. Let's see how Python deals with them. We'll start up an interpreter now just by typing Python. Whenever you're dealing with regular expressions, you need to import the regular expression library, which is re. Now we can do pretty much everything we did in grep using re.search. The arguments that search takes are a pattern and a string. Let's see if the line abcd is a function and extract the name of the function if it is. Obviously, abcd is not a function. So match was not anything. If we print out match, you'll see match is none. This is useful because you can do things like if match in order to execute code that should only be executed if you actually have a match for your regular expression. To walk through this regular expression, you'll notice first that it started with an R quote rather than just a plain old quote. R in Python says that something is a raw string. Basically what that means is pass on the backslash literally, don't use it as an escape sequence. Usually when you're doing regular expressions, you'll want an R string, a raw string. You can also think of it as a regular expression string. We use raw strings in Python for the same reason we use single quote strings in the shell for grep. Now let's see if def hello is a function. Match isn't none, so we can do stuff with it now. One main thing you want to do with regular expressions in programming languages is extract the text from the parenthesis. We can do this using the group method. So you can see here we have dot plus inside parentheses, and here that would be hello. So when I printed group one, it printed hello. Now let's say we realized that this function was internal and we didn't use the correct naming convention since internal functions need a leading underscore. We can use re.sub for substitute. Substitute takes three arguments, the pattern, the replacement, and the string. and you can see this worked as expected. We put an underscore before hello. Note that I had to include the death part in the replacement. That's because otherwise it would have disappeared. The whole match will be replaced with the whole replacement. Also note that like with group references, the backslash one refers to the group. Also, we didn't have to escape this parenthesis because most regular expression symbols aren't meaningful in a replacement context. Those are the most common regular expression tasks that you'll need to do in a programming language, but there are more methods and arguments. The documentation for Python regular expressions is pretty good, so just search for Python regular expressions to find out more. Those were all of the biggest regular expression features, but if you're still interested in learning more, you can browse through a website like regularexpressions.info.